really critical that we address the question of sharing power. Here's the fear on my part. There, are, there is a sizable proportion of people of color, many of who are low income and working poor, who voted for Rob Ford. There is a sizable proportion of people of color in the 905s who voted for right-wing political parties. Part of what is motivating that is a conclusion on the part of some of them that those who claim to be their allies really are not. They're just using them to maintain their power. Okay? And when the right wing comes to them and says, the way to get around the man is to establish your own power base. You don't have to go to the government. You don't have to go to the welfare state. You can do something outside of the welfare state. You can be quote unquote self-reliant. There are significant sections of the racialized population that are listening to that message. And they listen to that message partly because they are frustrated with the inability to get our allies to share power. This is real. This is real. And unless and if the promise can be realized, right? They will turn to right-wing politics. And listen, if the promise can be realized that a progressive movement is prepared to share power and to address the issues that are foremost in their concern, they will turn to right-wing politics. And they will fall for the $60 tax rebate and all of those things. They will. So, this is, in some ways, an existential conversation. We all stand to lose unless and if we can demonstrate that progressive politics actually does truly represent the distribution of power and sharing of opportunities. Thank you.